Hey guys, this is Wakandia West, and I'm going to talk briefly about the ACT science section. This particular section assesses your ability to think scientifically, your ability to interpret, analyze, and evaluate data. This particular section must be completed in 35 minutes, and you have a total of 40 items that must be answered in 35 minutes. Now this section of the science has seven passages. Six of those passages have charts, graphs, um, different things like a picture maybe that you can use to help you answer your questions. There is also another passage, which is the Sabbath passage, and it has only text. In other words, you have nothing on there or on that particular page or passage that uh, will help you answer the questions. You only have words, text, writing. Now, one strategy I encourage my clients to use is I always tell them to read the passage that has no pictures, charts, or graphs on it last. Yes, save that passage for last. I encourage them to do this because that particular passage tends to be more difficult and it also has more questions. It has seven questions that should be answered. Always, always save that one for last, the one that has only text. Now, the other six passages can be done in whatever order you want them to be done in. Just like with the reading section, the science section can be done in whatever order you desire. Just because they give you a certain passage first does not mean you have to read that passage first. You can read whichever ones you want to. Always pick the ones that seem to be easier for you. Because the more difficult the passage, the longer it's going to take you to complete it. Also, another strategy you want to employ when you are using or taking the science section is you want to make educated guesses. If it is taking you too long to answer a question, you need to make an educated guess and you need to keep on moving. Another strategy you want to use is you want to read your passage, you want to pick an answer. Finish reading that passage, pick your answer, but mark it on the answer sheet. After you have marked all of the answers for one passage on the answer sheet, transfer those answers over to the bubble sheet. Continue on to the next passage. Read that passage. Look through that passage, look at the charts and graphs, answer your questions, mark them on the uh, answer sheet. Then, once you've done all of those on that particular passage, transfer them over to the bubble sheet. And you may wonder, well, why should I do that? Isn't that a waste of time? Actually, no. This is going to help preserve your time. It's also going to keep you focused on the passage in the charts and the graphs and on your answer choices. That way, instead of going from the passage, the answer choices, the bubble sheet, the passage, the answer choices, and the bubble sheet, you're just going from the passage to the answer choices, passage to the answer choices. And once you've done that, then transfer them over to the bubble sheet. Make sure you do it one passage at a time, one passage at a time. And I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. Don't forget to visit my website, www.westinstructionalservices.com, and I would be so glad to help you out and give you more tips uh, for taking the ACT exam.